Here we are on top of the mountain at Island Miniature Schnauzers. So we just got up here and most of the kids have gone hunting, but they'll be back and we'll be able to catch them. In this pack, uh, this is Silverton's pack. There's Mira, right there. And she pretty. She's just full of life, that girl. So that's Mira. Um, there's Lily, one of Genevieve's doggies. That white one, that's uh, Jingle. And she's having a discussion with Emerald. There's Soleil in the forefront, wagging her tail. These puppies are all part of Silverton's group. There's Lavender, big, big girl. <laughs> Listen to them all. They're just so happy. They're all smiling. Oh, there's Silverton right there. Yeah, that was the, the silver one. That's why I call him Silverton. Silverton comes from, uh, where does Silverton come? Florida. He comes from Florida. Comes from the breeding partner of Vera from Maximilian. So, well, well bred pup pup. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. There's Silverton. Yeah. He's pretty fast, so it's hard to be able to get his face, but we'll catch his body. There you go. That's Silverton. And they're off. Silverton and Lily are off together. Mm. Lily's in for breeding, so that's a good thing. There's Soleil. Oh, look who we have here. Look who we have here. The Dingo. Aren't you a happy girl? <laughs> pop, 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 pop. There's Soleil. Yeah, no, you're not getting up. You're good there. Oh, here comes, here they come. That chocolate one that's coming up, that's uh, Lady Bell too. There is uh, Lavender. The big, big one is Lavender. She's in for breeding with Silverton. All these kids are with Silverton um, for breeding or if they're young like Lady Bell too, they're just in living uh, in the pack. Yes. Beautiful day here on the island. Gorgeous. Let's see what we have here. There we go. There's some there. Now they are all, of course, off leash. And they have been trained to stay on the property. We have horse fencing, just two strands, hot wire, so they can easily go off the property, easily. But through training, they know that's not a good thing. If they go off the property, I call them back with a harsh tone. When they come to me, I do pat them though, because they did come even though that they were off property. Remember when you ask your doggy to come and the doggy comes to you, reward it. And then if you have another command, then ask for that command. But don't have your doggy come and then ask it to sit and then you make it sit and you make it into a big to-do because your doggy won't come again. They'll go, why should I? Do incremental trainings. When they come, say, good doggy, good doggy. Then ask for a sit, okay? Remember that your dog wants to be a good dog and be rewarded by you, by your voice and your tactile touch, not food. Do not give your doggy treats. They don't want treats. They want your love. So remember that, you people. Now we will be holding training classes starting July. I will uh, be going down to California to the Dog Psychology Center to uh, be trained by Caesar Milan. 
and then I'm going to pass on this training to people that enroll in our training classes. So we'll be giving you even more support come this July. And the training is really for the mummies and daddies. And then we train you on how to train your dog. Because it's never the dog, it's the person. Hey, there's Soleil. Oh, and there's Silverton. They'll make beautiful pups, these two. <laughs> Silverton. So, uh, remember that we will be posting our videos on our website under the Dog Gang Club. Oh, probably June timeline. And we will offer, also offer training. Two videos a month on doggy training. And then just videos of puppies and walks and all that sort of stuff. And that will be under a subscription, a monthly subscription of $9.99. So I just heard a bark. So they either have found a fawn or chasing rabbits. So I better go and check that out. All the best to you. Thank you for watching. And we'll go over and look at that beautiful ocean view. Thank you again for watching.